Unlike Larry Hogan, who has met and raised money with convicted lobbyists, I won't take meeting with any registered lobbyists with a criminal history re related to fraud, corruption, or any other lobbying-related crime. As Ben Jealous made that pledge, the Larry Hogan campaign for governor circulated a voicemail Jealous left with lobbyist Gerard Evans, convicted of mail fraud years ago. Jerry, hey, it's Ben Jealous calling. I hope you're well. I'm calling to check with you about this campaign for governor. That call was made in error. We have a vetting process. If any check had ever come in from him, we would have returned it. When Jealous said he didn't recall the message he left, he listened to the voicemail, responding that at the time he didn't realize it was lobbyist Evans. He knows several other people by the same name. We've shown that we're willing to return checks that come in that don't pass our vet. Governor Hogan has not returned the money from the National Rifle Association. He's not returned monies from the pharmaceutical lobby. And he certainly has not uh, returned monies from the lobbyists in question. Far from it. The Hogan campaign released a statement on the voicemail saying in part, quote, as this newly uncovered voicemail shows, Ben Jealous has been repeatedly violating his own ethics proposal, and it proves he cannot be trusted to run an ethical administration. As far as my calls, what I know is I didn't know which Jerry Evans I was talking to, and when his check came in, this Jerry Evans, we would have returned it. The voicemail is an example of how intense this race has become. Even before Jealous stood here to announce his ethics proposals, the Hogan administration released a reaction statement to it that included the voicemail. Reporting live from downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.